one thing that's most exciting about travel, it's how it motivates you to break the mold and step out of your comfort zone. Hi, my name is Cherry Jen and I'm a YouTuber. Just when I thought life couldn't get any more interesting, I find myself in Germany all by myself on the first solo trip of my life. So here's an Indian girl's guide to this beautiful place that the world calls Germany. Now, right now it's 11 a.m. and I'm here for a walking tour. These tours are great whenever you're traveling. They take you around to all the places in your checklist. We started a tour with the Berlin Cathedral, which is one of the most iconic structure of the city skyline. We were just in time for the service and it was simply beautiful. Next, we went to the Altus Museum, which was like taking a trip back in time. It was simply unreal, guys. We walk to the Janda Mark, Berlin's most popular square. If you want to get good pictures, this is the place. Next, we went to the place I was most excited about, the Brandenburg Gate, and it was so good. Okay, so after hours of strolling around, I finally reached the Christmas market. I really don't know how to pronounce this name, but. A new day calls for a new destination. I started a second day by taking a train from Berlin to Nuremberg, which was a three hour journey. So we have reached Nuremberg and it's 11 o'clock right now. The check in is actually at 3 o'clock. So I've just left my bags and yeah, I'm ready to explore this town now. You want to understand life in Nuremberg, you have to come to Hopmark. Essentially a marketplace, Hopmark is a world in itself. Gothic buildings, amazing street food and such a chill vibe. I literally spent the entire afternoon here. My evening in Nuremberg was one that I'll never forget. The town was all decked up for Christmas and I went to Christian Kindle Mark, one of the biggest Christmas markets of Germany. Santa Claus, mulled wine, gingerbreads, it was magical. So I walked around the Christmas market again because the lights are so pretty that you know I just wanted to walk again. And I found this place where I'm having a glass of Prosecco and then I'm gonna go to an Asian restaurant and have some good Asian food. Well, I did end up making it on time and in about an hour, I was in Munich. And since time was of the essence, I dived into city exploration right away. And what better way to do it than by heading to the main city square, which was in this case was Marienplatz. The new town hall, the national theatre, there were so many things to look at. I'll be honest, before I actually reached Berlin, I was in two minds about all of this. I was scared and I was skeptical. But as I stood on the streets of Berlin, I realized that it had just been me, holding myself back all this while. Because when you're out there, it's just you and a whole new world to explore. Find your world and take the plunge. I did it and I will never be the same again.